Hey beautiful, it's Chantel bringing you back some more non-toxic beauty that is super glam. Today I wanted to do a Hailey Bieber inspired look. I saw her look on Instagram uh, by Nikki Makeup. Nikki Makeup did her makeup for the Calvin Klein show in Germany I believe and I just thought it was super pretty. It has a little bit of green, lots of blue and sparkle going on. I'm going to go off camera and do one eye and see what it come up with and see if it looks anything like what she came up with and I'll be right back. So did one eye. It's not the perfect colors as Hailey Bieber's makeup artist, but I'm I try to make it work. As Hailey Bieber inspired, we were inspired, not copying. I'm gonna go into my Lawless Beauty palette, and I'm gonna use the shades Steady and Butterflies as a transition color. I noticed that Hailey had a warm tone on the outer corner, and then she had kind of like a yellowish tone on the inner corner for a transition, which is really interesting. I've never seen that before. So I'm gonna go and do some transition work. I'm also going to bring some of the steady and put it on the little perimeter of the lower lash line because I noticed Haley had some down here at the bottom just to blend the little wing she has going on. And I'm going to go in with the butterfly, the yellow shade. Next, I'm going to go into my Monique Boulay The Greens palette, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'll insert what shade it's called, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm going to go in with that shade and do kind of a halo effect, go in the inner corner and outer corner of my eye. I'm also going to bring that green shade to a little halo on the bottom lid as well. Okay, next with that same brush I'm going to go into my Everyday Minerals palette. These shades are discontinued unfortunately but I'm going to go into the shade right here. It's called, it's called Marvel Denim Universe and just because I want to make the lids a little more blue because Haley's has green on the inner corner, but she really has blue. It looks like she has blue on the on the her outer inner corner. So just to make the shade a little more blue. Normally, I would just um, give up on my idea and say like, "Oh, I don't have what I need to make the look," but I just want to move forward and go for it. You know. If you don't have everything perfectly, you can still give something a try. Next, I'm going to go back into my greens palette and I'm going to use Sour Apple. It's probably the only shade I remember from last time. Next I'm going to go in and I'm just going to blend things out a little bit before I add my glitter. Comment below and let me know how you're ending 2019 strong. I've been working out with my sister, we've been getting up early in the morning, way earlier than we want to, and <laughs> getting to the gym when, as soon as it opens, which you feel pretty amazing when you get to the gym as soon as the doors open, not going to lie. It's worth it. Yeah, you don't have to wait till January 1st for them resolutions. Resolve today. Next, 
Next, I'm going to go back into my greens palette, and I'm going to use this dark green right here just to add a little bit more depth because Haley's eyes are pretty smoky. So, just on the outer V, just want to deepen it up a little bit. Put some of my interview too, actually. Just a dab. Next, I'm going to go into my Monique Boulay's Rainbow Duo Chrome Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to go over to this blue section right here. I'm not sure if the camera will show you, but these highlighters have a blue tint to them. I'm going to use the bottom one for my inner corner. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to use the top one. It's really, it really has these bigger particles just to get this um, fairy dust effect going on. Haley has this, this little little patch of sparkles right here. And it's not even, it's not perfect, it's just kind of lightly applied. Ooh, I think I put too much. Let's see if we can blend this down. I'm going to go back into my Lawless palette and I'm going to use the shade here called Casual as an under eyebrow highlight. Just because we already have so much sparkle going on, we'll keep it casual. And I did my brows but really light. Haley's brows were really kind of like, you could tell they had been filled in just a little bit but almost on, it was almost just centrally. Like nothing was really filled in on the top and on the bottom. There's almost kind of a line going through the center of her brows. So just keeping it really natural. And off camera I will put on some mascara and some eyelashes and I'll be back. That's the video, but I'm just gonna walk out. That's okay, and then I ate the granola out. that you left in the car. Just so you know. The granola? You left some nuts and- That was for the next day! No, I was like, it where wasn't! Is it? it wasn't! I was like, where is it? I was like, I don't see it there. It was perfect! With the raisins? Mm. Chocolate chip raisins and nuts. I finished off my eyes and I did mascara and lashes and now I'm going to start to go on to my base. Haley has a really natural base. She doesn't have too much bronzer or contour on. She just has a really pretty bright cheek that's a peachy kind of color and it's nude lips. So I'm going to try to keep it really basic. I am going to use a little bit of bronzer though because my foundation that I have is a little too light so I'm going to just bronze lightly around the sides just to kind of make everything blend well together. <laughs> Otherwise you might be looking upon a ghost and we don't want that. So I'm going to go in with my Lawless Cosmetics Woke Up Like This foundation. It's a great foundation but it's just a couple, it's like a shade, half a shade off or just doesn't have enough yellow that my skin tone has. So I'm going to bronze that up but a really beautiful coverage. Next, I'm going to go in with my RMS Beauty Uncover Up in the shade 44 for my under eye concealer. And next, I'm going to set everything with my Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Powder. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Lawless Cosmetics, uh, what is this called? The Lawless Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Blazed.
Next, I'm gonna go in with my Honest Beauty Truly Charming Cream Blush and apply liberally because Miss Bieber has on, Mrs, excuse me, Mrs. Bieber has on quite a bit of blush in this photo. Today for highlight, I'm going to go in with my RMS Beauty Peach Luminizer. And I'm going to wear that pretty low down. I noticed Haley has highlight like even kind of in this area right here, which is a little bit low for me, but I'm going to do it. It's a very glowy look on the face. I was really happy the other day, one of my friends, her name's Josie. She watches my channel and she told me the other day she went to Sprouts and got like clean foundation and a bunch of clean beauty products and I was just so proud like oh my gosh you're like taking notice and making positive changes. That made my day. And Josie's kind of the sweetest ever so. That was a highlight. To finish up this look we're going to go in with the Bite Beauty's lipstick in the shade called Chai. It's a really nice nude. Um, Hailey Bieber's nude was a little more peachy, but I don't have that, so we're just going to go in with the best nude I have, so make it work. Here is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I was a little bit nervous just fiddling around with shadows because I didn't have the perfect shades, but I really enjoyed it. I really like how the pop of like glitter came out on this side and it's just really fun thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to up to you totally if you like this please do so so you won't miss uh, my next video on non-toxic clean beauty that is super glam so thank you so much for being here and have an awesome day bye